such a sattvic person who is doing the sattvic tyag, abandonment, how will he remain? What is his nature? What will be the experience within? If supposing I practice this without attachment to the individual or the being or the thing, without any anxiety for the fruits thereof, I fulfill all my duties towards others, whether they appreciate it or not. And I do it not because the society wants me to do or others want to me to do, but my own soul wants me to do it. In case I don't do it, I will feel a guilty conscience. And that too, restlessness all through my life perhaps. Therefore I am doing it. Such actions are called sattvic actions. An individual who is thus practicing sattvic, I mean, um, sattvic uh, tyaga, what is his reaction? He says, nadveshtya kushalam karma. When a karma or a duty, hmm, an obligatory duty comes with is rather disagreeable. I don't like doing it. The social workers, when it comes to working with the leper, lepers, there are some people who will say, that I can't. I can serve with the old people, or young people, children, but these lepers, you know, it's not. You understand? Akushalam. It is disagreeable work. Such a duty, I can't. Washing plates. Are you God? I got you. But service I can do. You fill it at the plate, I will go and take place. But to keep washing the plate, I hear this. You understand? Any karma which is disagreeable to you, we generally revolt against A man who has purified the mind. Nadveshti, he never hates. Akusalam karma. A, a, a piece of job that needs a lot of exertion and it is disagreeable. The circumstance is disagreeable, the people around you are disagreeable, the atmosphere is disagreeable. Never mind. You do your duty. Kushele nanushajjade. Now agreeable work comes. You don't get attached to it. Get a drowned in it. Drowned in it means always want that same job. Because it's very agreeable. Meaning, an individual who has, through Tyaga, given up the ego, he has no difference between agreeable and disagreeable work. Agreeable and disagreeable is only with reference to vasana. Those work that are conducive to your vasana is agreeable. That which is against your vasana is disagreeable. When you live this in Tyaga Buddhi, in that Tyaga attitude when you live for a long period of time, serving the world and fulfilling your duties, the existing vasanas get exhausted. So that the fulfillment of this Tyaga is that you become neutral. You have all the freedom in the world to act under any circumstance. The love that floods from you expresses itself in action uh, beneficial to others, whether the circumstances are agreeable or not agreeable. Tyagi Sattva Samavishta, one who is well established in Sattva. The mind is quiet. There are no more tamas and rajas in him. Not no more, but there is a preponderance of Sattva in them. There are desires and agitations in the mind, but they are now when they in such an individual, Medhavi Chidna Samshaya, an intelligent man, in whom there are no more doubts about the right and wrong, about the discriminative path of what exactly is the goal that I want to achieve in life. There is no doubts about it. Whether it is the immediate pleasures of the world outside or the existence, the supreme reality. No doubt in the mind, the mind has become convinced about the higher goal. Such an individual is well established in Sattva.